Hey everybody, this is Josh Sizemore, CEO and founder of Balloon Animations. Just wanted to say hi to you guys this evening, or morning is when I'm filming it actually. So uh, yeah, uh, this video is actually going to be about the company Balloon Distractions. Uh, I'm going to put out a disclaimer right now. Uh, first of all, my sinuses are bad, so sorry if I sniff a lot. <sighs> Get that one out of the way. Anyway, um, also, everything that I say in this video, uh, for the most part, is going to be my opinion. Um, there are some factual things in there, and I'll provide you with the, uh, the links to those factual things, if I can. Anyway, uh, Michael Floyd, who is an absolute amazing uh, balloon entertainer and teacher, uh, you can check him out at balloon-animals.com, or also youtube.com slash balloonanimals. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of his tutorials. He's he's a god. Anyway, um, he posted on his Facebook today that he saw all these uh, balloon instructions videos being posted, and he wondered what was going on. Um, I checked with one of my balloon twister friends that still works with balloon distractions, and they said, yeah, Ben's bribing people to post positive videos on YouTube, and that's probably because he knows how shitty of a company he runs. Uh, I'm sorry for the profanity, but that's pretty much the only way to get the point across, and that's the nicest way. I'm, I'm being real, real nice here. So anyway, um, I'm going to keep going on. Uh, the reason I'm throwing my opinion into the mix is because I have first-hand experience with Ben and the company, and Randy Crane, and all of the other people that are involved in it. Um, I've even met his wife and kids, if that counts for anything. So uh, I, I know exactly how everything's run, and I know the uh, the shadiness that goes on behind the scenes. So yeah, I know there's a lots of stuff on like uh, Magic Cafe and Clown Forum and stuff, but a lot of those artists haven't really had first-hand experience with balloon distractions. Some of them have been approached by Ben and they've talked to Ben, but as far as actually having experience working with the company, the only other one that I know of that's really outspoken and respected in the community is Jonathan Fudge. And he came forward a couple years ago when he cut his ties with Bull Instructions, and it's pretty much the only one that I know of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my opinion of the company. So uh, I'm going to start off with the uh, just kind of letting everybody know, um, in case you didn't know already. So this is for people that are looking possibly to work with Balloon Distractions, or are already working with Balloon Distractions, and they just kind of want more information about them. Um, first things first, you don't get paid for your gigs that you work. Um, balloon Distractions does not care. They collect money from the restaurants, they pocket money, you don't get anything. Uh, if your regional partner, which they probably did, told you, yeah, you get $15 an hour, you know, that's what they post on their Craigslist ad. This is the best job you'll ever have, uh, blah, 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 and $15 an hour is to pay. You know, it, no, it's strictly tips. Um, and I don't know where they pull this $15 an hour number from. So it, it's strictly tips. If it's raining and it's on a dead night when you're working in the restaurant and you walk out with five bucks, you're, it, you go crying to your regional partner, they're going to say, eh, sorry, not my problem. Um, and you just wasted your gas to get to the gig, you wasted your balloons, and you wasted your time. Uh, you you could have been either working on another balloon gig that was paying you plus tips, or, I mean, at least working a better gig. So uh, balloon distraction just doesn't care. They're all about numbers. They're not they're not about quality of gigs. They're not about quality of balloon artists. It's all about numbers. And that's going to bring me to my next point. Um, the the qual quality factor. Balloon distractions has very very few artists that are uh, what I would consider good. Um, I would say you can count them on your hands, and that might even be stretching it. Uh, you might be able to do it on one hand. Um, Cody Williams is a great entertainer out in uh, California. I know I, have, I know a couple people out in Florida that are pretty good. But for the most part, Balloon Distractions doesn't care if you're good or not. They, they just want you to go to the restaurant and, and work. That way they can collect money from the restaurant. That's their, that's their goal. That's all they care about. Um, <clears throat> then moving on from that, uh, I'm going to get into Ben Alexander a little bit. This is uh, it's gonna be my favorite section, I think. Um, Ben's a dick, and once again, I apologize for profanity. That is the absolute nicest way that you can say that. Ben Alexander is an asshole. 
Um, <clears throat> I've gotten into many verbal altercations with him. Um, he's gotten into my face and chest bumped me, like, gotten my, got, got close enough to me to where our chests are touching, and uh, yelled at me, dropping F-bombs left and right, all, all that garbage, you know, uncalled for. Um, he's had, he's made personal attacks on my family. Uh, one thing was he asked me where I get my advice from in my life. And, I mean, I'm, I'm 22 years old. I'll admit I, I am young, but I do like to think that I have a very good head on my shoulders. And as far as being uh, business savvy and tech savvy and all that stuff, I, I believe I'm ahead of the curve on all that. So uh, he asked me where I get my advice from, and most people get it from their family. Uh, I said that, and he said, well, who in your family is financially stable? That's all Ben cares about, it's the money. You know, when he called me one day, he's like, oh, you know, I just got a loan from one of my rotary friends, and you know what I did? I went out and bought a $10,000 Rolex. Cool, Ben, that loan was probably to improve the company, um, but you got a Rolex. Great thinking. Uh, <clears throat> on top of that, you know, speaking about money, he has no cash reserve for his, uh, for his company, and I know that because he was supposed to pay me at one point to move to Baltimore. Um, and he promised me a payday, and when that payday came, he said, oh, well, we don't have money in the account. I'm like, Ben, how does a company that has, uh, I, don't, I don't know how much they have, probably 30000 40000 in payroll at that time, not have a cash reserve? They, they had no money to pay me. Like, $5,000 was my pay, and they had no money to pay me. Um, blows my mind how you can run a company with no cash reserve like that. And I understand if it's your own personal business and it's debt to your money, that's fine. You know, you don't need a cash reserve. But if you're dealing with other people's money, you need to be on top of that stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> um, other than that, you know, Ben's great at manipulating people. He'll, he'll get you to do what he wants you to do. I know there's been many times where he's told people, yeah, you know, you're fired from our team if you don't skip your class and fill this gig. That's how little he cares about you as a person. He, he just wants you to fill the gig so he can get his money and go on. Um, if, if he can screw you over, he will. Same thing with Randy Crane. Uh, Randy Crane will be the nicest man to you. He's, a, he's the uh, good Christian family man. And as soon as it's beneficial for him to turn against you, uh, as in my case, when I, uh, when I was let go, all of my people from Orlando, I, I would assume, probably went under him. And that, that was obviously beneficial to him because I had most of the people in Orlando. Um, and, I mean, it's it's just a whole mess of a company. Uh, ben doesn't know what he's doing business-wise. And any balloon artist would tell you that. You know, um, ever since I'm, I've left Balloon Distractions, I've just been a much happier person, that's for sure. Uh, I work some restaurant gigs, you know. Um, you're able to get some of these gigs I get hundred dollars a shift plus tips and tips are hundred and fifty dollars you know I just booked a, an event today at USF for I believe it was like six or seven hundred dollars for four hours and balloon distractions is never gonna get you that kind of money ever because they care about them not you so if you're a balloon artist and you're looking to actually make some money and do it the right way and not through a shady company like balloon distractions then contact me and I can either help you or I can get somebody that's going to be able to help you get on that right track because balloon distractions is not the route to go. You saw how it worked out for Jonathan Fudge being promised $40,000 and uh, same thing with my situation, you know. We both are doing so much better without balloon distractions. So if you guys have any questions at all, um, please, please, please comment, uh, like the video if you, if you like what we said here. And other than that, this is uh, Josh Sizemore, Balloonimations, signing off, and I look forward to hearing you guys' feedback on this. You guys have a good day.